Hi, hello. Welcome back to Geotechnical Engineering class. Today, we are going to discuss some of the objective questions from Geotechnical Engineering, which will be useful for you for your state PSC, SSC, GATE, and various competitive exams. The topics for today's session is various soil deposits and basic soil properties. We are moving into our first question. First question, valid range for degree of saturation of soil that is we represent it as S in percentage. Option A, S greater than 0, B, S less than or equal to 0, C, S between 0 and 100, D, 0 less than or equal to S, less than or equal to 100. We know that the degree of saturation is in the range it can be equal to 0 and it can be equal to 100 or any value between 0 to 100. So, the answer is option D. Okay, it is a basic question and important one also. Our second question. A soil has a bulk density of 22 kN per meter cube and water content 10%. The dry density of soil in kN per meter cube is. They have given four options. So, we need to find out the dry density of soil. We know the equation dry density gamma D is equal to gamma bulk divided by 1 plus W. In problem, they have given the value of bulk density and water content. So, substitute these values in this equation. So, gamma is 22 divided by 1 plus 0.1. Okay. Solving this equation, we will get the value of gamma d. We will get the value of gamma d as 20 kN per meter cube. That is our answer is option B. Okay, very simple question and we only you need to remember the relation. The relation connecting tri unit weight and bulk unit weight and water content. We are moving to our third question. The value of porosity of a soil sample in which the total volume of soil grains is equal to twice the volume of voids would be. That is we need to find out the value of porosity. That is we need to find out the value of N. They have given some condition that is the total volume of soil grains, that is total volume of solids is equal to twice the total volume of voids, two times the total volume of voids. This is the condition they are given. We know that by the porosity equation for porosity n is equal to E pi 1 plus E. And the equation for E is volume of voids to volume of solids. From this relation, we can find out volume of voids by volume of solids as 1 by 2 or 0.5, right? So, you got the equation for or the value for E. Substitute that value here, N is equal to 0.5 divided by 1 plus 0.5. Solving this equation, we will get the value of N you will get the value of N as 33.33%. That is our option D is the correct answer. Okay. Next question. Soil transported by wind is called A. Aeolian soil B. Alluvial soil C. Marine soil and the lacustrine soil. Soil support transported by wind. The answer is option A. Aeolian soil. B. Alluvial soil is transported by the running water that is river. Then marine soil is ocean deposit and then lacustrine soil is soil deposited under the lake. So our answer is A. Aeolian soil. Fifth question, if void ratio is 0.67, water content is 0.18, 
2.68 and specific gravity is 2.68 the degree of saturation of the soil is a25 b40 c60 d75 okay they are given void ratio as 0.67 and water content as 0.188 and specific gravity as 2.68 okay we need to find out s we know the relation s e is equal to w into g from that we can find out s is equal to w g by e w is 0.188 and g is 2.68 and e is 0.67 substitute the value and solve the equation you will get the value of s By solving this, you will get the value of S as 0.752 something. So you can write it as 75%, which is the nearest value. So our answer is option D. Okay. So you have to remember this equation. SC is equal to W into G. Our next question. The porosity of a soil sample having its void ratio equal to unity would be. We need to find out the porosity. The porosity of a soil sample having its void ratio is equal to unity. That is they have given E is equal to 1. We know the equation N is equal to E divided by 1 plus E. So E is 1. So 1 plus that is 1 by 2 that is equal to 0.5 right that is our answer is 50 percent that is option B is our answer okay so we need you just know the equation for porosity n is equal to e by 1 plus e next question Gravel and sand belongs to the following category of soils. Gravel and sand belongs to the following category of soils. Option A, alluvial, B, cohesive, C, expansive and D, marine. We know the answer that is it is A, alluvial soil. So, gravel and sand belongs to the alluvial soil deposit. Next question. Void ratio of a soil is 0.9. Its porosity shall be. E is given as 0.9. We need to find out porosity. Simple relation. Okay. Options are 0 0.45, 0 0.47, 0 0.57, 0 0.53. All the options are very close. A and B 0 0.45 and 0 0.7. C 0 0.57 and 0 0.53. So you have to be careful when solving the values so n is equal to e divided by 1 plus e e is 0.9 divided by 1 plus 0.9 okay you have to solve this by solving this we will get it as 0.47 that is option b is your answer okay the answers are very close a and b are just only uh, 0 0.02 difference is there 0 0.45 and 0 0.47 so be very careful while solving this value for n. Okay. Then next one. Water content of a soil can. Option A. Be less than 0%. B. Greater than 100%. C. Never be greater than 100%. D. Between 0 and 100%. Water content. We know the equation for water content as weight of water divided by weight of solids. Okay. So, they are asking what is the range for water content or water content can be? The answer for this equation, it can be greater than 100%. Okay. So, our answer is option B. Next question. Soils deposited at the bottom of the lakes. Option A, alluvial soils. Option B, lacustrine soils. Option C, marine soil. And option D, colluvial soil. Okay. So, we know that is a very simple question. Soil deposited at the bottom of the lakes is 
lacustrine soil l4 like l4 lacustrine alluvial soils deposited by the river moraine is ocean and colluvial soil colluvial soils are deposited by the action of gravity okay so our option is option b and that's all for today's session we will discuss more objective questions in the coming sessions thank you all for watching